Today we're going to try and do some truly deep, dark, and disturbing things. And that's because we can combine anything to create new things. So for example, if we take the earth and combine it with fire, we hopefully get the apocalypse and then we've won. But that actually makes lava. So then if you add the earth back to lava, does that make any considerable? Now we have stone. It's probably going to require a lot of creativity to figure out what we need to make. Stone plus fire makes lava. Lava plus lava makes volcano. Volcano plus earth is back to lava. So we obviously can uh, go backwards, but we can also still go forwards by just combining volcanoes. Uh, if we put two eruptions together, we go back to volcano. But those two together make a mountain. Mountain plus water perhaps makes a river or a lake. Water plus a lake equals an ocean. And you just keep going and going and make more things. Ocean plus an ocean makes the sea. A sea plus a sea makes the ocean. Volcano makes an island. An island plus eruption makes more islands. Also a lot of suffering. I'm mostly just here to try and create suffering. What about if we add islands to the earth? Perhaps continents? There we go, we got a continent. Now let's add some volcanoes to the continent. Hawaii! We made Hawaii! That was one of the first things made on this earth. Hawaii plus wind? Can we maybe make some surfing? Hula. I think we might need water plus wind to make waves. Waves plus Hawaii makes surfing. Surfing plus hula makes a great time. Hula hoop. I'm not actually sure what we would combine hula hoop with, but we'll do our best. Every All roads lead to Hawaii, apparently. I feel like we might be getting close to the end of what we can do at Hawaii, although we did get surfer. So maybe Hawaii plus surfer equals surfing again. Surfer, surf, surfing. So there's definitely lots of options. Surfing plus a wave equals a surfer. This all came from fire. So let's try some of the other base elements. Wind make a tornado. Uh, two tornadoes make a bigger tornado. Two bigger tornadoes make a tornado. But we do have a hurricane. Uh, we've turned that into a tsunami. Tsunamis might actually uh, go well with a surfer. Or we'll get nothing, and that's fine too. A hurricane plus a surfer equals surfing. A uh, surfboard we now have. So the tsunami is the end of uh, our chain so far. If we mix that with Hawaii, we don't really get anything. But a tsunami plus a continent? Atlantis. We've sunk something. Atlantis obviously was a big island uh, known for its hula hoopers. Which uh, turned into Hawaii over time. That's why no one can find it. If you add stone to Hawaii, you get the Moai. I think those are the stone heads you see uh, down there on the islands. If you put them together, you get Easter Island. So in theory, we can combine anything with anything to try and, you know, turn it into uh, something new, which could get hard at times, but sometimes it seems rather easy. Like, we can combine something with Easter Island, we just don't know what yet. You need to look at all your different options to figure out, well, what could we possibly add that would make something new? And because I'm a creative idiot, I've got no idea. So we're going to start fresh with some easy ones, like stone plus stone makes a boulder. Boulder plus wind makes dust. I was looking for sand or perhaps dirt. Maybe a stone plus wind equals sand. Sand plus dust equals a sandstorm. Oh, a sand would be a good one to combine with things like an island or a continent. That made desert, which desert, which I was looking for anyway. Desert plus desert equals sand. But also a pyramid, apparently. Pyramid plus sandstorm equals Egypt? The Sphinx. If we double those, uh, a pyramid is a Sphinx squared. Well, the Moai can combine with the Sphinx to make a statue. Yeah, okay, interesting. I'm starting to get it. I believe the Statue of Liberty shown here is actually on a small island, so Statue of Liberty. Maybe if we combine that with a continent, we get U.S. America. So now we can torture a whole continent with the right stuff. What happens if we turn that into a desert? We get a cactus. What happens if we turn a cactus into U.S. America? You get Arizona. Sorry, Arizona. That's the way it works. I've created what's called a saguaro. I think that's probably a type of cactus, to be sure. We're going to combine it with itself. There's just going to be a lot of options of things we can make. Obviously, we're going to need to find more of America. So we'll just keep adding, you know, Mountain America. That's got to be the Rockies. Or Mount Rushmore, which is also a statue. Maybe water causes erosion on Mount Rushmore to make Niagara Falls. Yeah, but you didn't know that's where Niagara Falls came from. And if we had a surfer die in Niagara Falls, we have an accidental death. You would get wet. That's not incorrect. What happens if you combine fire and wet? Steam? Dry. Well, I'll take your word for it. So then if you dry Niagara Falls, you get a dry falls, which kind of seems like an oxymoron in a way. What's falling then if it's dry? I have more questions and answers at this point. US America plus a dry falls? 
Oh, do we have something that doesn't combine? Maybe because dry falls isn't a real thing. I've won the game. I've stumped it entirely. Um, yeah, dry falls actually doesn't really seem to combine with anything. Maybe it needs more wetness. Okay, that just goes back to waterfall. Rock bottom plus depression doesn't need to a good place, so we're going to make a hurricane depressed instead, which makes a storm. Also, since we have rock bottom, we can find out what's rock bottom in America. And this is obviously factual, so we're going to get to the truth of the rock bottom of America, which is Trump. I've got so many different avenues to explore, but it's hard to keep track of them all. Like, I want to make everything depressed. I want to find the rock bottom of everywhere. I guess we have Hawaii and also Arizona. What's the rock bottom of Arizona? Phoenix. Never been there, but I'll take your word for it. Phoenix plus depression equals rebirth. That actually makes sense. Rebirth plus storm equals thunder plus waterfall equals electricity. What about if we make electricity depressed? I don't really... Okay, we're in shock now. And because we're in shock, we're going to add that to a surfer. And it somehow has made lightning. We're going to need to find the rock bottom of a continent. Australia. It's not upside down. Then we're going to add lightning to Australia to make a kangaroo. Yes, that's where they come from. And then if you make a kangaroo depressed, you get a <laughs> ruicide. But we could definitely mess with Australia for a while. A cyclone, that's not a real thing. We call them hurricanes. So when you add depression to Australia, you just get Australia. <laughs> Nothing changes. Did we see what the rock bottom of Australia was? Or is it just is it just going to be generally Australia again? Uh, apparently it's Oz. Uh, I have no idea what that is. I think the yellow brick road goes there, but that's the end of my knowledge. But if we combine that with Atlantis, nothing happens. We found another dead end. We need to bully some more countries and land masses though, so we need to figure out how to get more continents of different areas. But not before I found out what the Statue of Liberty of Australia is. It's just a kangaroo. Australia doesn't have much going on, clearly. I'm thinking Mountain Blessed Continent might make somewhere like New Zealand, or it might make somewhere new entirely. Asia. Now, what is the rock bottom of Asia? People are going to love this video. I'm about to offend a lot of different people. Correction, I'm about to offend a lot more people. Rock bottom of Asia is China. Well, now we're just on a scientific journey. The rock bottom of China is a panda. Uh, the rock bottom of a panda is a panda. If we give a panda depression, you get bamboo, uh, an eating disorder. If we do mountains in Asia, what if we get Everest? We sure do. So what do we do with Everest then? I've always thought Mount Everest would do better with some cactuses. And a Yeti pops out of that. That one was a bit of a leap for me, but we'll accept it. Then we combine a Yeti with Mount Rushmore, and we got Bigfoot. Also a bit of a stretch, but I'll accept it. Anything goes here. I wonder what they consider to be the Bigfoot continent. Is that just North America in general? That's US America. Oh, but actually if I put US America and Bigfoot together, we get Sasquatch. You put two of those together and they just bounce back and forth. So let's pull a few continents out just to see what we can get. Like if we throw a light continent out, we get America. That could go away. An island continent was an archipelago. We have a lot of hot and dry options. Some cold ones would probably be better. So we need to start figuring out how to make things cold. We have no cold options. We do have a fish, which is an animal last I checked. So if we combine the fish, we can make them bigger. But I wanted to see fish, archipelago, fishing. Uh, so fishing plus uh, all sorts of things. Shark plus shark equals whale. Fishing plus fishing equals fish. Fish plus whale equals shark. Sometimes I'm so confident that we're onto something new and then nothing happens. So whale is kind of the end of that directly. Jonah. Jonah whale. Shark. But then we could try like fishing for a panda, which just turns it into a panda, a whale panda. Pandaleon. I have no idea if that's a real thing or not. I think Rebirth could also be a lot of fun because we're bringing things back to life or reinventing them. Like the Rebirth of a Volcano. It turns into a Phoenix because it resurrects itself. The Rebirth of a Stone. Sphinx. Rebirth of Wind. Phoenix. Rebirth of Water. Fish. I'm trying to get down to some scientific core. Rebirth of a Continent. Pangea. Now we're getting somewhere. Fish plus Pangea equals Pangea. Again, Rebirth of Pangea equals just Earth. That's actually a good one though, Earth. What is the rock bottom of Earth? Cave. Well, you're not wrong. So, cave plus the Earth equals mine. Mine plus the Earth equals gold. Gold plus the Earth, money, which is just gold. But we have gold, so the gold continent is treasure. Money plus surfer equals fun. Okay, that turned you into a banker. I guess that's not wrong. People that deal with money are bankers. Banker plus gold equals rich. Rich plus treasure equals pirate. We created pirates. Pirate Earth. I think this game just turned into a game about pirates entirely. 
We'll see what kind of different things we can do to them. I'm sure they'll have fun with the world. Pirate plus gold equals treasure. I already knew that one. Pirate plus Asia equals ninja. Okay, I see where they're going. Pirate plus Hawaii equals Captain Jack Sparrow. Combine him with a ninja and we get a pirate ninja. Pirate America? Captain America. Uh, that's a stretch, but I'll accept it. Combine him with a pirate and you get Captain Hook. Com Captain Hook combined with a pirate equals Peter Pan. Peter Pan pirate equals Captain Hook. I did want to see the rock bottom of pirates, which is Davy Jones. He's at the bottom. The rock bottom of treasure is pirate. Okay, pirate Davy Jones, Jack Sparrow, already saw captain in general. So captain of the earth is land. Okay, that's not a huge stretch of logic. Captain plus rich, pirate. I thought it was going to be airline captain. What about, well, a shark plus captain hook equals piranha. We don't have an alligator handy. But I'm pretty sure fish plus Australia should make an alligator if I know my geography. Okay, piranha plus Australia equals crocodile. Okay, that was quicker than I thought. We need crocodile plus Captain Hook because I want to see if that takes his hand. Which, yep, it actually leaves him with just the hook. So if you combine crocodiles into a super crocodile, Australia will cease to exist. We did get a swamp. Two swamps equal a bog. Uh, we could also do a swamp plus Australia, bog plus Australia. Those don't really get you anywhere. We did make the Wizard of Oz. I was just tidying up and we made Crocodile Dundee accidentally, which is the best way to create that individual. Actually, if we put a wizard on Earth, we get a golem. Uh, Australia loves its golems, which are kangaroos. Kangaroos plus Crocodile Dundee equals just a crocodile. Mud plus stone equals clay. Maybe we'll just keep combining these elements so we get different things. Brick. So we have building materials suddenly. If we put bricks together, we get a wall. We put walls together, you don't get anything. But walls plus a brick equals a house. Two houses together, make a town. Two towns together, make a city. Cities make a metropolis. Metropolises make megapolis, which turns into nothing. Megapolis plus fire equals volcano. Everything leads to volcanoes. We put blades together, we'll probably get a sword. I like where this is going. Two swords can turn into a long sword. They're going to get bigger and bigger. A great sword. Great sword, meet wizard. I don't know what's going to happen, but we have a warlock. I don't really understand, but two warlocks make a wizard. Two wizards make a warlock. Oh, now we have a witch. If we combine now with some bricks, we're starting to play Minecraft. But that simply just makes a house, which isn't nearly as exciting. A castle is, though. I was hoping that a castle plus like a longsword or a greatsword might make a dragon or some kind of fantasy thing. I'll settle for a knight. A knight plus a wizard equals a warlock still. What can we do with knights? I bet knights turn into all sorts of things. A uh, knight, um, Megapolis? King Kong. Sure. King Kong castle makes Kong. Pirates plus Kong. Donkey. Donkey plus wizard equals Shrek. Shrek plus King Kong? Donkey Kong. I won't argue. Plus a knight equals Donkey Kong. You get all sorts of fun discoveries once you start getting into weird things. Wizard plus Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Jr. plus Crocodile Dundee equals Crocodile Kong Jr. I'm starting to think we're making things up at this point. Unless this really is a thing, but I have no idea. We combine that with Asia and it just gives you nothing. It just won't, won't let you do that. So we're going to find some rock bottom answers for things. Uh, apparently not this one, but we do King Kong and rock bottom equals King Kong Bundy. Got it. A rock bottom of a donkey is a jackass. Rock bottom of a megapolis, megalomania. Well, we did get Captain Jack Sparrow and Davy Jones. So if we put them together, we get Pirates of the Caribbean. So one day in the future, they're going to have a crossover with Shrek. And that's going to make <laughs> Pirates of the Shrekabean, which is obviously started by a megalomaniac, Captain Jack Sparrow. I feel like if we combine him with the Sea of the Ocean, we'll get a ship. There's the ship. Ship on the sea equals pirate again. I put Asia and Australia together because they're pretty much the same thing anyway. And we got Asia Australia. So I kind of want to see what else I can combine with that. Now we're making new land masses like city continent country that's what i was looking for now we can find individual countries rather than continents like the country of shrek which is far far away a far far away continent is middle earth pretty sure if we find our wizard again we can throw gandalf into the mix wizard middle earth gandalf i keep having these plans of what i want to arrive at and i get completely sidetracked because we have things like gandalf the rock bottom country is poverty the depression country is recession put those together and we're back to depression. Pyramid country? Can we get Egypt? We did. What about rock country? Stonehenge. If we combine Stonehenge with country, I'm pretty sure... Well, yep, fine. Druids are good too. I put druid and country together and I got Ireland. So that's pretty close. 
Now obviously we have to find the rock bottom of Ireland, which is Guinness. Ireland plus Guinness equals drunk. Drunk plus Ireland equals fight. Drunk plus fight equals bar. I thought it might be jail. Fight plus bar equals brawl. Uh, brawl plus drunk equals bar fight. But we can make people fight now. We have a battle even. Battle plus battle equals war. War plus war equals battle. Uh, I got WWE. I'm not sure how, but we're going to find out what the battle country is. Nothing. WWE country is America. War plus America equals terror. I've just realized the Yeti country is probably a cold one. Russia. So we can find out how to start getting cold countries. Yeti plus Russia. Snow. There we go. We wasn't quite expecting that, but we can work with Russia. We'll find out what the rock bottom of Russia is. Siberia. Siberia country takes you back to Russia. The Dust Bowl is Soviet Union. The rebirth of that, I'm pretty sure, is just Russia again. If we combine Russia with Australia, we get Austria. We can try Winter Mountains. It simply gives you snow. Snow in winter equals snowman. Snowman country is still Russia. Yeti plus snow equals abominable snowman. I made a mammoth. So we can find out if those existed on an island, which they didn't. What I wanted to do is put that on a continent or a country. So a mammoth on a continent simply gives you a mammoth. We put a mammoth in Ireland and we get woolly. We get a woolly mammoth. We should have gotten a woolly mammoth to combine those together, but we didn't. We got an ice age instead. So an ice age country is a glacier. Glacier country is Iceland. Oh, we can make things drunk too. This is going to be fun. What about Iceland and Guinness? When Austria gets drunk, we have Hitler apparently. When Hitler gets drunk, we have a hangover. When the alcohol, alcohol drunk equals hangover. Drunk Russia will give us vodka. Drunk vodka goes right back to Russia. What happens when we get America drunk? We get Trump again. When we get Arizona drunk, we get Phoenix. When we get Phoenix drunk, we get a firebird. When that gets drunk, we're back to a Phoenix. Australia getting drunk is still just a kangaroo. I put knight together with longsword, we got a samurai. If we give a samurai a great sword, katana. So we can keep kind of morphing around the swords. If we can King Kong a katana, now we're getting places. Apparently that just gives you a samurai though. You would think that some of these snow and country and continent options would give you um, something like Canada. And I'm looking for it, but we'll see if we can find it. But we're going to try the winter continent, which gave us Antarctica. Which sort of a step in the right direction. We got a penguin. We got some cold stuff. If we have winter and say sport, that would be enough to do it. Snow plus penguin equals ice. There we go. That's a good one. Uh, winter plus fight might also be hockey. Okay, that's a snowball. Snowball. Winter, snow plus fight. Avalanche. Avalanche plus snowball. Snowman. Ice plus fighter brawl. That's got to be hockey. Yes, there we go. Now we go hockey country. Hockey country. Canada. What happens if Canada gets in a fight? just hockey always hockey all right so what is it we can do with this leafy moron what's canada's alcohol that's hockey canada's hitler it's just canada canada hangover canada doesn't have a lot going on these days as it turns out do we at least have our own gandalf maple leaf yeah i guess that's pretty close maple leaf city toronto canada town toronto what happens if we combine torontos we're still just left with sunny toronto the rock bottom of toronto is Raptors. The rock bottom of Canada in general is Justin Trudeau. Can we combine him? What's Justin Trudeau squared? Nothing. Him and the Raptors? NBA champions? I don't know about that, but I'll take your word for it. Canada drunk is simply hockey. Hockey plus NBA champions? Stanley Cup. Banker Canada? Looney. Can we get like the highest mountain in Canada? Nope. Mount Everest plus Canada. Mount Everest plus Looney? Mount Looney. First discovery? Was I the first one to find that? It's not a surprise if I was. No one will ever find that again. But that's what happens when you combine random things. Mount Looney plus Canada. I didn't know there was potentially first things to be found. So we might have to go digging for things that don't exist. I also have no idea what Mount Looney actually is. So we're just going to combine a whole bunch of things. We got an emperor. The emperor of Canada is Justin Trudeau. The emperor of Toronto, therefore, is Drake. Yes, that's a little known fact. If we put Drake on Mount Looney... We're going to get something fun. We can get Draco. Can you go skiing on Mount Looney? Does Soviet Union have its own Mount Looney? Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore, Mount Looney? Mount Looney Rushmore. First discovery. Yeah, it's easy to discover things for the first time when we're making them up as we go. I got lunatic. What about a Soviet Union lunatic? Stalin. Uh, Stalin plus penguin. Penguin. Emperor lunatic could be good. Caligula. We could mess with the states a little more. 
I wonder what the US's Mount Looney is. We're gonna try and find something new here in America. So Mount Looney Rushmore. In the States is, yeah, actually that makes sense, Mount Rushmore. Does America have its own Stonehenge? Aliens. Aliens could be fun. What about aliens in America? Area 51? Area 51 in America? Alien. Well, we're gonna give an alien Guinness to see what happens. And we just get them drunk. A drunk alien could actually be a lot of fun. Alien plus Stonehenge. Crop circle. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. We put crop circle somewhere out there, we'll get into some really weird stuff. Actually, there's crop circles in US America. That makes sense. We're just right back to alien again. Well, now is our chance to mess with some humans. An American human equals a US president. Depression plus a human makes a zombie. What about a depressed zombie? That's simply a zombie. Ooh, who's the rock bottom human being? Oh, homeless. Uh, Asian human is Chinese as it turns out. A drunk human is simply a drunk. Guinness human is Irish. I really thought, uh, what happens if we make Gandalf poor? Hobbit. A, <laughs> a poor wizard is a hobbit. Now, if they get into uh, a bar fight, we have Bilbo Baggins, and he's really a big fan of Guinness. We give him some of that, and he turns right back into an anonymous hobbit. Who is Hobbit Hitler? Gollum. Okay, well, with uh, Gollum plus Lunatic, he already was a little bit crazy. We're right back there. What happens if we make a hobbit a US president? Bilbo Baggins had no idea. I put Ireland in war and we've created a terrorist organization, which is definitely fitting there. And that just takes us straight up to Iraq, where we're going to send Gandalf to uh, be the sheriff. Uh, uh, sending him there has started the Gulf War. The only way to calm them down is to give them a pint of Guinness which doesn't work, so we're gonna have to settle for some snow to get them to calm down. They're gonna have a snowball fight and talk about it. And then settle that over a game of hockey in the snow, we get ice hockey, where the raptors are gonna win the cup. And they literally will, because we've made the ice raptors. Which then morphed into ice zombies, which were also bakers, because the economy wasn't doing super well. And that just takes us full circle all the way back to a yeti, which was way up here at the top.